That's my belt you wear. You want this belt? Come and get it. Welcome back. Our next guests are starring in a new series. It's a dark, small-town drama in Georgia about two brothers with pro wrestling dreams. One is a villain or heel in the ring, the other a hero or face. They're both fighting for their late father's wrestling promotion while vying for national attention. Let's go ahead and check in with actors Stephen Amell and Alexander Ludwig to talk about this series on Stars. Good morning to you both. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, great to have you. Okay, so you guys play brothers Jack and Ace Spade. Tell our viewers about your characters, who's a good guy, who's a bad guy, everything we need to know. Well, first of all, we're very much missing San Diego because we are so used to going there for Comic-Con, so we can't wait to come back. That's right. Well, we can't, have, we can't wait to have you back next year. Or maybe, I, I think Halloween, right? They're having like a special event. Who's to say? All right. Oh, that would well, be amazing. That would be amazing. Yeah. But yeah, so anyway, I play Jack. I'm the bad guy in the ring. I'm the, I'm the guy that's a uh, little bit more of a stand-up guy outside of the ring. And I play Ace. Uh, he's the rock star in the ring and the hero. And outside of the ring, he is a <laughs> complete disaster. <laughs> Similar to me in real life. <laughs> you guys actually seem like, uh, like you could be real brothers, really. Um, tell, us, uh, tell our viewers, okay, when you initially hear you know, the this, this series about wrestling, do you have to be a wrestling fan to be interested in this series? No, take it, no. From, take, take it from a guy who grew up a big wrestling fan and someone who grew up sort of more on the on the fringes of the wrestling fandom. Um, you know, you, you can walk into this with no no knowledge of anything to do with pro wrestling at the WWE level or at, at the small independent promotional promotion level. Um, but it, this really comes down to the relationships that exist within a wrestling, within a small town wrestling promotion. A bunch of people who want more out of life and just people who are aspirational and are doing something because they're passionate about it, which I think everyone can, can, can connect to. Yeah, it's totally relatable. What do you want the viewers to walk away with when they watch this series? Oh man, I mean, it's a it's a roller coaster of emotions. This show, I, I you know, I think that I hope they have the same experience. And it feels like for the people who have seen it already that 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 this is happening. But they have the mm -hmm. same experience that we have when we read the scripts, which is just, you know, these characters are. We're gonna see you're gonna see yourself in one of these, if not all of them. Um, and these characters are so complex and exciting, and the world is so colorful. And it's about people wanting more out of life and trying to provide. And I mean, who can't relate to that? You know, um, and they're thrown into this incredible world, and it, it's a hell of a ride. And I think people are really gonna see that, and, and I hope they do. So, for those who don't know, what is a heel in the wrestling world? So it's like it's 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 just it's it's the bad guy in the ring. It's the one that it's the one that whose responsibility is to to make the crowd boo him or her, mm -hmm. um, and thus to make the crowd cheer for the good guy. And the best thing that the that the heel can do is give the face the match of his life and make the face look like a million bucks. That's I... the role of the bad guy. Okay, that makes sense. So, how did you guys train for this series? Man, it was insane. Exhaustively. I mean, yeah, <laughs> exhaustively. Yeah. Speaking as somebody who 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 didn't really have a lot of wrestling wrestling experience, Stephen had um, some, and he's wrestled in some pro matches. I immediately realized pretty quickly that we had to go from zero to 100 really, really fast. And uh, right when we signed on the show, we were in a training facility in Los Angeles with a guy named Chavo Guerrero, who comes from a very prolific wrestling family. Uh, trained there for months in the ring then moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Stars built us this incredible gym. Uh, when we weren't training in the gym, we were in the ring with pro wrestlers in the South uh, who were on our stunt team. And it was just this constant cycle of filming gym ring, filming gym ring uh, for like eight months while COVID was happening. Uh, it was it was unbelievable. It's definitely, I think, the most and uh, we've, we've ever trained for anything yeah. before. So our viewers can see your hard work this Sunday, Heels premieres on Stars. Steven, Alexander, thank you so much for joining us and giving us a little sneak peek into what uh, people can expect. Thanks so thank much. Thank you very Appreciate much. It.